Hello, native developers. I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. This is part two of our pizza animation challenge. And in this video, we're going to build a nice scroll animation as well as the shared transition. Shared transitions can easily be done now with React Navigation V5. Let's have a look. And before we get started, one thing, if you're interested to learn the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, I hope that you will check out my online course at startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible user interactions that will run at 60 FPS, even on low-end devices. So if you're interested to learn the fundamentals, I hope that you will check it out at startreactnative.dev. We are into VS Code here and I have a nice scroll view for all my pizzas and we're going to transform it into an animated scroll view to get the X value, which we're going to bind to an animation value and we're going to use it to animate the rotation of the plate and the scaling and translation of each pizza. So let's just jump into it. So this becomes an animated scroll view and it's animated from reanimated, perfect. And so we're going to create the X animation value. And we're going to create the on scroll event. And we're going to use use animated scroll handler, perfect. On scroll, we get content offset. which we can bind to x. So we would have x.value equals content of set dot x. So let's add on scroll here. So now we should have the x value listening to the scroll view and we can pass the animation value to do some interpolations. So let's have a look. So here I'm adding X as a property. So X is an animated shared value. And we can use it to animate here the style of the pizza. So we're going to create an animated style. So use animated style. And uh, we're going to return a transform. Oops. And let's do the scale first. So first we need our input range. And our input range is going to be, so previous, current, and next. And current is index, so the index of the pizza times width each pizza as the width of the screen. So that would be current and we do index minus one, index plus one for previous and next. So previous would be index minus one and next would be index plus one. Oops. And we can use it for the scale. So scale, we interpolate X dot value input range and output range would be let's say zero three and one when we are at current and zero three and we want to extrapolate clamp here I guess the extrapolate is not necessary but I'm putting it for good measure and of course if we want to see it we need to translate accordingly to the half of the width of the screen. So we can, uh, even though it's scaled down, we still want to see it on screen. So I'm gonna add uh, translate X. Uh, and let's do, okay, let's, so let's do translate X. We can do translate Y as well, I guess directly. So input interpolate X dot value, input range. And here we would go to minus 
with divided by two, zero, when we are in the middle and with divided by two, extrapolate clamp as well. And okay, let's do translate Y, which is similar, but we're gonna keep it to the bottom. So here, so let me add also translate Y. So this doesn't appear to be working. And I think it might be because here, this needs to be an animated view. So this works nicely. Now we can do the rotation of the plate. So I can pass the X value to the background component, which has the plate. So again, X is an animated shared value. And we can use it here to rotate. So we would have style equals use animated style transform rotate here rotate on then on ios you can put a numerical value but i know that on android it won't work so we need to have some regions here and we can do an interpolate on x dot value input range let's say here you can put whatever you want here i can put two pi if i want a full rotation that might be too much so maybe i just put pi and oops so let's have a look so you see it rotates nicely kind of a fun animation now let's do the shared transition so here I have my stack navigator where, right, where I have all the pizzas and then the selected pizza. So this I'm going to use the create shared element stack navigator instead from react navigation share element. Perfect. And now if I go into pizzas, so here I have the ID of the pizza. So I can wrap it into a shared element. So we know that this is the element we need to uh, animate from one screen to the other. So that would be shared element ID equals ID. Perfect. And in the pizza selection, so if I go back here to the stack, now in this one, we also need to have the pizza. Should I just wrap it here? Shared element ID. Doesn't seem to be working yet. And I am wondering if here I need to give the ID of the pizza, so that would be shared elements. And here we get the root as parameter, and we return uh, root.params.id. I think. And now it works nicely, except that we need also to animate the plate, which is in the background. And for this, we're going to play a nice trick. So if we go to the pizza here from the selection, we see actually that the plate is there, but it has an opacity of zero. So when the square view is rested, we are going to uh, set the opacity to one so that it appears, uh, we, so that it's visible when we do the shared transition. So here we're going to do plate style. Use animated style. So it's a simple style opacity. If the square view is at rest and the square view is at rest, if X dot value, so the modulo of X divided by width is zero. 
So if you know we are at weave, two weaves, three weaves, and so on. If yes, we make it visible. If not, it's not visible. Let's have a look. So here the plate is always visible. Again, I'm forgetting to add animated dot image. So that should work nicely now. So you see here, we don't have the plate visible. It's not visible and it becomes visible nicely. And uh, oh no, 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 no. So here the plate. So here the plate is invisible and here it becomes visible, but also it becomes visible uh, on the previous and next pizza. So that's actually not good. So this is silly. It should be if x.value equals index.with equals current. Sorry about that. So x.value equals current. So now you see at the bottom, we don't have the plates. We see the plates at the top. And now if I do the share transition, it works nicely. Isn't that cool? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this example. This was part two of the pizza animation challenge. These share transitions are now pretty straightforward to do with React Navigation V5. In part three, we're gonna try to animate a 3D model of a pizza box. I haven't worked out all the details yet, so I'm pretty excited. And also I I'm, guess I'm gonna get to use some of the 3D matrix multiplications I've done in some previous videos. I'm not sure yet, but um, I'm really looking forward to do part three as it's gonna be something completely new. So I am looking forward to talk to you soon and until next time, happy hacking.